do is show you how to graph a piecewise function. And a couple things you guys need to remember on a piecewise function is a piecewise function, all it is is it's a group of functions with constraints. So primarily what they really want us to do when they're graphing a piecewise function is they want us to graph the function g of x of negative 2 when x is less than negative 4. They want us to graph the function g of x equals x minus 3 when my x values are between negative 1 and 5. And they want me to graph the function 2 of x minus 15 only when x is greater than 7. Now, these aren't g of x because actually g of x is all of them combined. But I had to use a function, so I used g of x again. But notice g of x is the function of all three of these combined. These are all individual functions that we need to graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to graph each one of these separately according to their constraints. So if I need to graph negative 2, remember, think of that as like a y and an x. y equals negative 2. If you're to graph that on an x and y plane, um, it doesn't matter what your x value is, y is always going to equal, y is always going to equal negative 2. So it doesn't matter what x value I pick, y always equals a negative 2. So really that graph is going to look, it's just going to be a horizontal line at negative 2. Then the next thing I need to look at it is, but that says this graph is only true when my values of x are less than negative 4. So I go to negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means this graph is only true from this point on. Then I need to determine, since it's an open circle, that's going to be an open dot. Right? Because it does not include the point negative 4. So the rest of this, even though I wrote a dotted line, it really has no effect. It's not part of my graph, or not part of my function, g of x, my piecewise graph. The next one, x minus 3. I need to graph that. So that crosses at a y-intercept of negative 3, and has a slope of 1 over 1. So that looks something like that. Now, that graph is only true between negative 1, and since it's now less than or equal to, that's going to be a solid dot, less than or equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now, this graph is only true, so this function is only true between these two points. All right? Then, the last one, y equals 2x minus 15, so now I need to go down to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Up to over 1, or probably like that. So this is only true when it x is greater than or equal to 7. So if this was 5, 6, 7. So therefore, the rest of this is not really true. So just remember when you're doing a piecewise function to take each one of your functions individually, graph them, and then use your constraints to graph the rest of the function. And when I put them all together, that's what it looks like.